this is Eric Warrior and welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. Today I want to talk to you about the law of attraction. This whole idea, you've seen it in many forms. You've seen it in the secret, you've heard it in the book, As a Man Thinketh. Um, it's a biblical principle. This idea of what you think about comes about. And I wanted to talk to you about how that's impacted my life and also how it can impact your network marketing career. Um, there have been times, there's two different, kind, two different kinds of situations where this has worked for me. One has been when I would just focus on something, I would want something, I would visualize it very clearly in my mind, and then I would just relax, and it would happen. Um, I'll give you one example. When I was in my early 20s, uh, I got a hold of Jim Rohn audio cassette for the very first time, a bootleg copy of a talk he did to Shackley many, many years ago called The Seed and the Sower. And I listened to that thing hundreds of times. And then I bought his Challenge to Succeed program, which was back then called Challenge to Succeed in the 90s, which is like in the future, right? <laughs> uh, Challenge to Succeed program. And I, I wore that thing out. And I made a mental note that, you know what? I'm going to work with Jim Rohn. I'm going to work with him. I'm going to do business with him. I'm going to become friends with him. And, uh, you know, the, my prospects of doing that were just so tiny because I was just, uh, you know, average little dude, no connection whatsoever. But fast forward a few years, 1992, um, myself and few partners start a company called, or excuse me, 1994, we start a company called TPN, the People's Network, and and uh, we make a connection with Mr. Jim Rohn. And overnight, we're, I'm producing video programs with him, and he's coming to our office, and we're spending time together. We're doing events together. We're sharing the stage together. We become friends. And it's just fascinating. How does, it, how does this happen? I don't know, but it, it, it's something I imagine. It took a few years for it to, it to come to pass. I had no idea it was going to happen prior to that, and it just happened. Uh, another example, I was uh, about to start a company called Better Life Media, which was going to be a personal development television uh, network, uh, you know, nationwide, U.S.-based company. Not a network marketing company, but it was just a media company. And there was a gentleman that I wanted to meet. His name was Jonathan Lazier. He's a big literary agent here in, the, in Minneapolis. And I just wanted to get to know him. I wanted to talk to him. And I tried to contact him through his different agents and different, uh, uh, you know, avenues to get a hold of him. was not successful. Every avenue was blocked. So I just kind of internally smiled and just forgot about it. I said, you know what? It's going to happen. I don't need to worry about it. Well, a few months later, somebody calls and says, there's somebody I need to introduce you to. I said, who's that? They said, Jonathan Lazier. And I went, hmm. Again, it just, it's like a magnet. It's something happens in the universe and everything changes. Um, so how, did the, how does this work in a network marketing business? How does it work for me? How can it work for you? Here's what happens. When you clearly get in your mind, what it is that you want to become, to achieve, to attract, to contribute, whatever it is. You get that picture so clearly in your mind and it becomes your dominant thought. Two things happen. One, the universe kicks in and it starts attracting towards you. But two, probably as big if not bigger, is your subconscious brain starts to work overtime. So even when you're not consciously thinking about something, it's grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding. And a million times you could have taken a right turn or a left turn, you take the turn that will lead you in the direction of that dream without even realizing it. And it's thousands and thousands and thousands of those little course corrections that happens in your unconscious mind. When you're dreaming, when you're in the shower, when you're doing whatever, it changes the books that you read. It changes the, the relationships that you're involved in. It changes the, the efforts that you do every day your subconscious brain, when that dominant thought becomes really clear in your mind. So here's what you need to do if you want to be able to use this power for yourself is you need to determine what it is that you want. 
in your network marketing career. Number one. Number two, you need to clearly see it in your mind's eye. You need to know what it smells like and what it looks like and what it tastes like and how you're going to feel and how other people are going to look at you and, and how you're going to be able to contribute and what that's going to feel like. And you have, to, you have to just totally immerse yourself in that feeling and then let your subconscious brain go to work and let the universe go to work to start making those thousands of little decisions. You can't just do it and then not work. The thousands of decisions between now and the time that it becomes real are what's going to change everything for you. Okay? So that's a little show on the secret and what it can do for you. I hope you find it valuable. If you do, um, please share it around with your friends. Encourage people to come find our page here. Like the, the post if you got value from it. Comment below on if you found this valuable or what you learned from this. And I appreciate you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, my wish for you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional. You decide to go pro because it is a stone cold fact that we have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have a great day. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.